Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox, install, and test this Beachwin 500 byte computer. I bought this computer just uh, two days ago at the Decathlon in France. The cost was 25 euros. And interesting about this one is it has the, uh, the sensor on the hub rather than having a magnet and a, a reader. So I guess this is like can sense it turning with some... Anyway, let's just Let's just go ahead and unbox it. Okay. There are some instructions, apparently. Let's see if we can get away without using that. Don't know what that is. I think these are to mount the uh, mount it on your bike somehow. And here's the unit itself. That just twists off there. And it looks like this and hooks like that. All right. Here's the actual stuff. Here's the computer. Here's the sensor. And this is the mount. And these rings will connect to the handlebars so this stays on your on your handlebars then this somehow I've never done this before so <laughs> yeah somehow twists on like that so it's nice and secure um, let's check the weight of everything that's one thing I, I am not always happy with with uh, beach wind they don't always uh, have the weight listed or usually they don't have the weight list of, listed on their products unfortunately <laughs> The weight of the computer itself is 30 grams, 9 grams, another 18, no more. 50, you're going to add 58 grams to your bike. Let's see if it turns on. Okay, you need to hold it on for a few seconds. Hold the button down for a few seconds. Apparently it's asking me what time it is. 16 ready cool all right so that's all I had to do is simply put the time in that's a button I guess the battery is behind here looks like this you can mount multiple ways it has a little rubber thing here feels pretty sturdy um, this is rubberized feels pretty good has a battery in there apparently average max time, I might use that, the speed and the time. Temperature, oh I like that, I didn't even know that. Distance, total distance, the bike tire diameter because we are on a 700C bike. There we go, 23? No, wait, we're gonna have this on our 25. Done. So 20, 25 millimeter wide, 700C tire. I don't know what that is. Maybe I need to read the directions. <laughs> yes or no for something. Let's go put it on the bike and see how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and put the uh, wheel sensor on. Okay. Looks good. I think I'll stick it right there for now. This is the medium ring. I think that's the... Uh, right one for this okay that's nice and sturdy okay now let's just put on the computer itself like that honestly I don't feel like this is quite as snug as it should be we'll see how it goes and by the way this does actually have a uh, backlighting feature although I don't remember how to use it Okay, let's go for a ride and test it out. And there's about three things that I don't like so much about this computer so far. Uh, number one is it does shut itself off after a little bit of time, which is fine, but it doesn't turn itself back on once you're riding again. So you, every time you want to use it, you need to push the button on the top for three seconds and then let it turn itself on. Uh, number two, I feel like this uh, mount is a little bit too loose, but we'll see, maybe it's fine. 
And number three, uh, it always defaults to the same screen with the uh, distance on the bottom where I would like it to have the time on the bottom. So every time I have to push the over button a few times to get to the screen that I'd like. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.